Listen to these words. Cane. These. Like. Rope. Mule. Now look at these words and see if you can tell what they have in common. Mm. What do all of these words have in common? There's an E at the end. Very good. Can anyone tell me what that letter E does? Nothing. When there is an E on the end of an English word, it is usually silent and makes the vowel long. We code silent E's by crossing them out to remind us that they don't make any sound. Then we're going to code the other vowels with a macron because it's making those vowels long. A silent E can make a vowel long if it is only one sound away from the vowel. If it is more than one sound away, this rule will not work. You might remember that in first grade, we called this a sneaky E because it sneaks over and kicks the vowel to make it long. What other coding do these words need? Um, yeah, a K back on cane. Okay, K back on that C, because it's making the K sound. Um, these needs the diagram. It you underline the diagram. It's a diagraph. We the diagraph. It. And, th and it's voiced. These. So you um these. you Very line good. you put a line on it. We're gonna put a line through it. Is there anything else um, on that word? Z like uh, these. Do you do something to the S since it's a z sound? These. Yes, the S is voiced. Z the these. So we're going to put a line through it to remind us that it's voiced. Is there anything else we need to do? Um, no. I don't think so. Very good. We are going to make a poster that tells us about this new rule. Not today, but when I come back, we will make a poster together. Let's look at these just to make sure that they all still work. How many sounds are there between the A and the E in this first word? One. One sound, so that E can make the A long. How many sounds are between the two E's in the second word? One. One, so that E sneaks over and makes that vowel long. How many sounds are between the I and the E? One. One, so that vowel E sneaks over and makes the I long. What about in this word? How many sounds are between the O and the E? One. One. So that E sneaks over, makes that O long. What about this last one? How many sounds are there between the U and the E? One. One. I Good. Get it. So that E is going to sneak right on over and kick that vowel and make it long. Let's look at another word. Can this E make the letter A long? Yes. Why? Um, because the TH is just one sound. Very good. There's two letters, but that's a digraph. They come together to make one sound. So first we're going to cross out our E. Then what do I need to do? Um, make a, a macron on the A. Going to put a macron on the A since it's long. And, and then you underline the diagram. Underline digraph T H. Digraph. Um, and then it's bathe. It's voiced, so you put a line on it. Very good. Bathe. Bathe. So we're gonna put a line through there to show us that it's voiced. Good job. Thank you. Sometimes we'll have a word like this. <clears throat> Horse. How many sounds are there between the E and the O? Two. What are they? Er, s. The sneaky E is too far away and can't kick the vowel to make it long. So you just cross the E out because it's still not making any noise. Let's code this word and see if we can read it. What do I need to do? Oh, mm. it's the R, no, the O and the R makes a sound. They're two letters. 
that come together to make a sound? They make an unexpected sound. So how am I going to code that? It's a little scoop line. I'm going to put an arc under it. That's combination O-R. So what is this word? Horse. Very good. When you are coding on your worksheet today, don't let that sneaky E sneak up on you. Check to see if there's one sound between it and the other vowel and if it's going to make it long.